What's up, YouTubers? Edwin Anthony here, back at it again with another Shopify video. And if you like Shopify videos, as I tell everyone else, uh, don't forget to press that subscribe button. If you love Shopify contents, demolish, destroy everything to that blue like button, make it blue, whatever it is. Uh, and also let me know down in the comments if you like this type of stuff or if you have any questions related to this topic. All right, so what are we talking about today? Uh, Shopify payment installment or pay as you go. This is, as of the recording of this video today, uh, we're in 2021 here. This has been the new trend on many e-commerce stores. And I'm sure you guys have seen it where you go to a website and you're about to purchase something and it says pay in installments. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you here real quick. All right, so here is a perfect example of one of our clients here, it's Juliet. Uh, big shout out to it's Juliet in Los Angeles. So we have a product that you guys might be selling and you say, hey clients, if you want to, you don't wanna dish out this money right away, you could just pay you know, four payments interest free for nine bucks using uh, quad pay. So how does this work? And this is kind of like the pay as you go feature. So the way it works is that you get it installed into your website, obviously. And when people actually purchase from you, uh, quad pay pays you in full. I guess what quad pay or all these businesses, what they do is that they go through kind of like a either a credit check or some type of analysis, they make a deal with the client and quad pay or whichever program, they go ahead and give you, the merchant, all the money up front, no liabilities after that. You don't have to worry about you know them missing payments or anything of that sort. Uh, then what these companies do is that they will hold the collection of money responsibility with the clients, right? And you know, you ship out the products, everything's good. So you don't have to like ship out the products until they pay the, all their payments. You get your payment all up front. You ship the product out to them. It is now their responsibilities, right? So that's how that works very high level. And I'm sure that if you enter into your Shopify store, you'll notice that in one of the cards, uh, in your dashboard, you'll notice this thing right here where now Shopify is involved having something like this integrated into the system. And look, as of this date, what they're saying is that, hey, you might get this good news. Uh, you know, we're going to keep our rates the same low rates on transaction fees up until October 15, 2021. So if you're watching this video, it could be before, it could be after, it doesn't matter. But Shopify has partnered up with a company called Affirm and almost like, you know, with Stripe and Shopify payments, it's Shopify payments and Stripe. It's like they're two different companies, but Stripe made a special software for Shopify called Shopify payments, which is technically powered by Stripe, but it's not Stripe. It's by Shopify. Same thing over here. It's an engine from Affirm, but it's from Shopify. So trying to make it very, very easy for you. Let's talk about the different companies, and I'm sure there's a whole bunch of them out there, but I just wanna emphasize really quickly the top ones, right? So let's go from the top ones here. Um, we have Affirm. So obviously this is the top, the top one, right? Where even Shopify wanted them. Uh, they obviously did an evaluation and they chose this company here. So Affirm, I think they've been around for quite a while. Um, in fact, it's either between them or Afterpay. I've heard of Afterpay before, but Affirm seems to be uh, one of the big heavy hitters, as you could see right here. And they all kind of like work the same. It's just that when you sign up and all that, uh, you, you know, there's obviously a different process. Let's go to the next one. So first, there's Affirm. Okay, and by the way, I'm not getting any kickbacks or any uh, affiliates on this. I'm just giving you this training, guys, or this tutorial free. Uh, okay, what's the next one? The next one is Afterpay. So Afterpay is very involved in a lot of fashion businesses. Like I notice a lot of fashion websites, they use Afterpay. The first time I ever heard of Afterpay was somewhere like in Australia. There was a company in Australia that wanted this. So I invite you guys to take a look at Afterpay's website and see if that might work for you. Uh, towards later on or towards the end of the video, I'm gonna talk about prices and how much it costs you. So just stay with me here. Uh, all right, so then there's Afterpay. Go ahead and take a look at them. Next one up is Klarna. Klarna also, they, they're probably a little bit more newer in town, right? Um, 
And again, very, very great company. Uh, and this is something that as of this date, it also does work with Shopify. Um, but I cannot speak if it's going to work afterwards. So you guys going to have to like stay up to date or whenever you're watching this video, just go in there and find out to see that it's working on Shopify. So for those of you guys who actually have Klarna installed, I'm interested into hearing your experience. Same thing goes with Affirm and Afterpay. So down in the comments, just let me know which one you guys have installed and have you noticed an increase of conversion? And then the last one that I want to showcase here is Sezzle. Uh, Sezzle, I haven't heard too much of it. I just heard it from one of my nice clients, very special clients, Holy Cow Couture. And Sezzle, I guess, you know, also new kid on the block, right? So based off of this, yes, I know for a fact that this does work with Shopify as well as Afterpay. I'm sure that they all do, right? So what does this mean to you? right? Why should you have this? Well, one of the main reasons is because it has been proven that it is a very strong conversion boost, giving your clients the option to rather than abandoning the cart because they don't have the money right now, let them get into a non-interest payment plan where they'll pay it over time. The bottom line is, is that they want their product right then and there. And, you know, these companies, what they're doing is that they're getting you that sale and therefore, you know, rather if it's after pay or a firm or whoever, they're the ones that are putting money in your pocket right away because, you know, they've already done the analysis with the client. They're not risky and that's just how they want to go. So I strongly recommend if you have a store, don't think about the price too much as far as what you're selling, like the cost of what you're selling your goods. Don't think about that too much because you might say, well, who wants to do a payment plan if I'm offering something for 12 bucks? Hey, you'd be surprised, right? But I think that these types of companies, they work very well with businesses, especially if you have high ticket items. So say if you're selling something that's worth over $200 or over $100, this is going to be a sweet spot for you. Uh, I strongly recommend every store, not if, not only if you have high you know, cost of goods, I'm talking about no matter what, install it, give it uh, a chance. And um, oh, here's a key thing. Make sure that there's no monthly fees. Make sure that there's no setup fees. Make sure you're not paying for these installment fees or monthly fees. No, no, no. You don't want any of that. Instead, what you want to pay through is through transaction fees. And that's what we're going to go through here next and explain. Let's talk about the transaction fees. Let's compare them. So very quick analysis. All of these prices can change after you're watching this video. Okay, let's go at the top. So a firm starts with for every transaction, they want to take a 5.99% plus 30 cents for the transaction. So how does this compare to Shopify? Well, Shopify, the, the I want to say the basic plan or rather the medium plan of Shopify. So Shopify regular, let's call it like that. Shopify regular charges somewhere around 2.6%. Uh, plus let's go right here, uh, and do this real quick plus 30 cents. So 30 cents, uh, on top of the percentage is what typically a lot of businesses charge, right? Um, so this is what you, the merchant would have to pay if they're buying the product from you at full cost, meaning that if it's a hundred bucks, you, you know, you get a hundred dollars meaning that the customer paid you the hundred dollars and here comes Shopify payments and they take 2.6% plus 30 cents on the transaction. Okay. But if the customer chooses a firm, then this, you get the sale, you get the whole money, but you get feed almost 6% plus 30 cents on that transaction. Afterpay has a range of between 3% to 7%. And on their website, None of the stuff that I'm teaching you guys right now, none of this stuff could be found on any of these websites. They try to hide it from you. I did my research and that's why I like that blue like button. If you could just pay me back with that blue like button for doing this research, but they don't disclaim or they don't explain exactly why they, they have this range. Like what constitute this range? How do I get to 3% or how do I avoid getting to 7%? They don't disclose that unless you guys know, if you guys know, put that down in the comments, but 
over here, uh, I tried researching and they didn't have that. All right. So just keep in mind that it's a range and it's a nasty one too, because look at this 7% across the map. That's very expensive. Next up, we have Klarna. So Klarna is pretty much the same thing as a firm standard, right? Quad pay also has a range, but it's not so aggressive as after pay. And to be quite honest, based on one of my clients, they use quad pay and they're very comfortable with it for what it's worth. They'll pay the percentage because the sales are good and the clients are great. And so I think that with the combination of that, I think this one is a very good qualifier. Here we go back to Shopify installments, just like before as a firm. So, uh, you know, after October 15th, I believe this is what the price is going to be. But as of now, until October 15th, if you do Shopify installments, then get ready to have this here and enjoy these benefits. So I say that if I were you go with Shopify installments because they have probably one of the best rates and it's temporary, but then get ready right after that. Boom. They're going to hit you with one of these. So just put it in your calendar, have Shopify installments installed, but then afterwards go with someone else that perhaps gives you a lesser discount or a better discount for the transaction fees. Finally, we have Sezzle. Sezzle is at 6%. Um, I'm not trying to differentiate this with the 5.99 because to me, that's the same. So I think that Sezzle is also industry standard, right? So if it was up to me, this is what I advise you to do. If you're watching this video right now at July 29th, or if it's before October 15th, this is what I advise you to do. Go over here and do the Shopify installments. Do this guy up until October 15th, put that on your calendar. Once it's getting close and you enter into October, talk to Shopify to see if they could keep this 2.6%. If Shopify says no, then start making some phone calls to these companies and ask them, what is the lowest percentage based on my store? They'll do an analysis to you and make sure that that percentage, I would aim for 3%. I'm looking for that number. But if no one wants to give you 3%, I would not recommend you to go further than five, right? So if, if I had to choose out of all of them afterwards, perhaps quad pay, right? Depend, but I encourage you guys to please contact the other ones, get on a phone call with them and talk to them to see if they could have that installed. Well, that's all for me today. Again, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy this type of content, again, like I said before, please don't forget to subscribe and also demolish that uh, blue like button and turn on that notification bell. When you want these new videos to come on, you want to be the first one to know again, guys, I'm mixing every week tutorials and then business talk. So I want your feedback on that too. So I could continue giving you tips on business and more to come soon. Thank you very much.